All right, I was supposed to be after Nagoose. In other words, I was supposed to be the caboose after Nagoose. Um, but I am the warm-up for Heinrich. Uh, but I'm just really excited to be here. I love the League of Conservation Voters. I am so grateful that we have a core of this country, that the majority of people are together in understanding that we are not dealing with a climate crisis someday, somewhere. We're dealing with a climate crisis everywhere, today, right now. There is a pressing urgency in this moment. We cannot wait because rural co communities right now are facing crop losses, severe droughts, flooding, shifting planting and harvesting times. We can't wait because Western communities have faced the threat of rapidly spreading wildfires, many of them losing their homes, some of them losing their lives. We can't wait because urban communities are suffering from the heat island effects where people are vulnerable, people are dying from heat stroke. We can't wait because coastal communities and other communities that are prone to flooding are seeing historic weather events, 100-year storms happening every year. We can't wait. This is the time that Heinrich, you're supposed to yell that out when I say it. We, we can't wait because communities like the one I go home to, black and brown, low-income communities who are most vulnerable to climate change and for decades have disproportionately suffered from pollution. We can't wait, thank you, because no community in America can afford it when it comes to dealing with climate change. To wait means more cost, more suffering, more death, and more destruction. We must pass this Build Back Better plan. It is plain and simple. This isn't a right or left issue. This is a right or wrong. This is our moment in history. We are at a client, uh, crossroads, and we can't wait. And so I'll tell you right now, as we look at this bill in the final hours of negotiation, we can't cut funding for natural climate solutions by protecting old growth forests, planting millions of trees in urban areas, and restoring our coastal wetlands, We can't cut conservation funding that makes farmers part of the solution, leading us out of this crisis, putting guardrails to make sure our money is being used to help family farmers and not support the destructive practices of factory farms and CAFOs. It means we can't cut in this negotiation, environmental justice provisions that are so critical by cleaning up Superfund sites, lead paint remediation, getting lead pipes out of the ground, and rebuilding our wastewater infrastructure. I tell you, this is a moral moment in America. We will be judged by generations yet unborn. We must seize this moment. It is a carpe diem moment for our country, and I believe that together, Democrats will come together, will rise up and live up to this challenge we have at this point in history. But at this moment and today, I have the pleasure of bringing up the wise man from the West. I have the pleasure of bringing up the ambassador of Albuquerque. I have the pleasure of bringing up the birthday boy in his birthday week, my friend, much better looking than me, more hair, Martin Heinrich.